Science Uncovered, coming to you from Science Uncovered HQ. This week I went to go and find out all about the Waggle Dance. The what dance? A dog, I presume? The Waggle Dance, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Penguin. Waggle Dance, I think it's the honeybee. Honeybees drink nectar from flowers. When one of the bees finds a source of nectar, it flies back to the hive and tells the other bees where to find it. It does this using the waggle dance. The waggle dance shows the other bees exactly how far away the nectar is and what direction they need to fly in to find it. The bee who makes the dance is communicating just to a few other bees in the nest bees within about one centimetre of it when it's dancing and those bees are foragers who don't know where to forage and after following the dance they'll usually go off looking for flowers. The waggle dance is like a figure of eight. It involves a run with a waggle and two circles. The run shows the other bees the direction of the nectar and the speed at which the dance is performed shows how far away the nectar is. The dancing bee kind of vibrates its body, moving its body over the comb, and it moves forward a very small distance, and that is called the waggle run, and that really is the guts of the waggle dance. And then it goes back to the starting position and repeats the waggle run, and it may repeat it as many as a hundred times, but it repeats it the same each time. In Britain there's only one species, the honeybee, which performs the waggle dance. But in Asia there's about ten other species of honeybees and they also perform basically exactly the same dance. The waggle dance doesn't really go wrong as far as the bees are concerned, but we humans can sometimes interfere with it for the purposes of our research. So if we turn the beehive on its side, the bees can no longer make orientated dances. And that's been used in some research projects where we could see what happens if bees can't dance. It's only the worker honeybees that perform the waggle dance. The queen is not involved at all and neither are the drones. The waggle dance is quite effective. It increases the foraging efficiency of honeybee colonies. It's not absolutely essential because bees can find food without the dance, but the dance helps them tell each other where the best locations are. And this is necessary because the colony may know about flowers up to several kilometres away. So no one bee could search out all the areas that the other bees in the nest know about. So welcome back. We hope you enjoyed the report. Now for News Uncovered. Take it away, Tesca. Peptides in the poison of a venomous snake could be used as a painkiller, which will be even more effective than morphine. The 2012 Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine has been awarded to Sir John Gurdon and Shinya Yamanaka for their work on stem cell research. A wrist-worn sensor created by Microsoft to register hand movements and create 3D imaging could soon be used as a way to play video games or watch TV. And finally, new research has shown that mice may be able to sing in tune with one another. American scientists have discovered that when mice of different breeds are housed together, they can alter their vocal pitch to match that of the other mice. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed today's episode of Science Uncovered. Do make sure, if you haven't already, that you're following us on Twitter and that you've liked our Facebook page. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>